It's hard to imagine, but close to the famous film city and the new commercial hub of Andheri in Mumbai is this vast Buddhist cave complex dating all the way back to the 2nd century BCE. The Kanheri Caves, a group of 118 caves, are spread deep within the Sanjay Gandhi National Park. Once a monastery for wandering Buddhist monks, it later became an important center of learning. Suraj Pandit, the archaeologist who did much of the excavations here, explains why this area is important. In the formative phase, it must be a temporary residential uh, area like Varshavasa. People must be living here in the rainy season and those people must be really uh, involved in meditation and other things who are, who are monks actually. So not a single laity was allowed to live at Kaneri uh, over the period of time. It is not just the early period, even the later period as well. But what we see uh, over the period of time, from 2nd century onwards, things are more getting ritualistic. Their Buddhism is more evolving as a ritualistic religion. By 5th century AD, some esoteric practices of yoga, char or tantric Buddhism have, have been introduced to Kaneri. And then the new, new set of rituals with new set of literature was introduced. Over the period of time, Kaneri evolved as an educational center. So there was uh, there was a tradition which of acharyas which can be seen here. Like there were reverend teachers who lived here, like the Naga, for example, in fourth century AD, who have, who have preached, who, who have who had who, who had their own tradition of students. You know, they have created their schools in philosophy, and they lived here. There are around sixty four memorial stupas at Kanheri of these acharyas which can be dated to 5th, 6th century AD. So we know that this was one of the major monastic educational centers. The Kanheri caves were important as they were close to the famous Sopara Stupa around 50 kilometers away. Over time, it also became a great center of Buddhist learning. It's believed that it is from here that an important school of Buddhism followed in Japan emanated. Cave number 90 at Kanheri, if you see, uh, that is based on a text called Saddharma Pundarika Sutra, which is popularly known as Lotus Sutra today. So there are various sects based on that particular sutra, which are popular throughout the world. So the cave was abandoned in 11th century AD, and after around 1000 years of its abundance uh, by the monastery, uh, some Japanese monk arrives here to the cave, which is not at all easily accessible. He identifies the cave and writes the name of this sutra. And I think that is this, that is the complete circle of that uh, sect. The Kanheri caves have a complex network of water systems, which were used to harvest rainwater. It's amazing that these caves were continuously occupied for over 1500 years. The complex went into decline when the Portuguese came in the 15th century and imposed heavy taxes on the monastery here. Today, the Kanheri Caves are a silent reminder of a bygone era. We build the country with pride. Trusted by India, we are steel makers to the nation. Steel Authority of India Limited.